Hello everyone, Teacher Jonas here, and today we're going to talk about a new science topic. Don't forget your life cycle project, by the way, okay? Anyways, the new topic is very simple. It's about air. Now, air is all around us. Inside the house there is air. Uh, outside there is air in the car everywhere we have air everywhere but not in space we don't have air in space okay <laughs> so air is all around us now air is made of a mixture of many gases so many gases if you don't know what gases are gases are for example oxygen we breathe in air right we breathe in oxygen oxygen is a gas okay now air is made of let me show you 78 percent nitrogen nitrogen 78 percent so most of the air around us is nitrogen and 21 percent is oxygen so as you can see most of the air around us is made of nitrogen and oxygen now we have a lot of other gases but they only cover one percent of the whole air around us so we have nitrogen 78 percent oxygen 21 percent and others only one percent this is what makes air around us so the two main components of air are nitrogen as I told you 78% or N2 this is its chemical name N2 it looks like this nitrogen nitrogen and 21% oxygen the one that we we breathe in if we don't have oxygen we die so it's very important O2 it is two oxygens so these are the two main components of air. But the most important component of air is oxygen because we breathe oxygen. If we don't have oxygen, all the living things will have problem. We will die. Fish will die. Uh, let's say other animals, birds, tigers, horses, cows, all of them cannot live without oxygen. So oxygen is very, very important. It's the most important gas in the air. Now, when the air is moving, like, see, I move the air from my mouth to you this is called wind so moving air is wind see the air is moving and it's also moving the trees this is called wind look at this picture see that is wind so moving air is called wind i love wind because i can play kite when there is wind outside <laughs> all right now let's talk about properties of air number one air has weight now you're be, you're going to be like teacher air is all around us i don't feel it how is it how is it how does it have weight it's not heavy that's true but remember it's not heavy or it's not light but it has weight you can do this experiment at home you can use a hanger or any stick put two balloons next to each other and blow exactly the same amount or just empty balloons now fill one balloon with air and make it bigger than the other one you're gonna see that the hanger will tilt to the side of the balloon with air inside this is because the air inside has weight so this balloon is heavier than this balloon you can do this experiment at home okay so empty balloon doesn't have air inside so it's lighter than the balloon with air inside so repeat 
after me. Air has weight. Repeat. Air has weight. Good job. Just like me. Teacher is 90 kilograms. I have a lot of weight. <laughs> now, air has weight too. Let's go to the second one. Air takes up space. Air takes up space space look at this balloon it's empty right no air so it's small now when you put air inside you see it becomes bigger because it's taking up the space look at my mouth it becomes big because i put air in my mouth so it takes up space so the more air you put in the balloon the bigger it becomes because air takes up space okay number three air is invisible air is invisible okay it means that you cannot see air around you that's obvious right when there is wind can you see the wind no you can't all right guys now let's review number one air has weight remember the balloon one yes air has weight number two air takes up space that's why when there is wind you can feel the wind hit your hand because it takes up space or when you put air in a balloon it gets bigger because air takes up space and number three air is invisible now guys I did an experiment to help you guys understand air better, especially the fact that air takes up space. To do this experiment, you can do it at home too. What you need is a glass, just like this one, doesn't have to be this long or this short, a piece of tissue. Now, it can be more than one piece, it's okay, but not too many or not too little. It has to stick at the bottom of the glass. And a bucket, big bowl, or plastic box like this one filled with water. Fill it with water, but not too full. Now, I'm going to show you a video of me doing the experiment. So, watch carefully. Hello, everyone. Teacher Jonas here. And now, we're going to do an experiment about air. Now, this experiment, we're going to talk about the fact that air takes up space. Now, how are we going to prove that? You need a glass. You need some tissues. And you need a bucket filled with water. But don't make it too full, okay? Just this much is enough. Now, what you need to do is do this. And put it at the bottom of the glass, but make sure it doesn't fall down, okay? So, you put it in here, push it back, yes. Now, what you have to do is push this and submerge it completely under water. Now, you may be thinking, hey, teacher, now it's wet. It's not wet now, because as you can see, the air does not let the water in because the air takes up space. Look at that. Boop, 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 boop. Now, let me take it out. As I said, you may be thinking, hey, teacher, the tissue is wet. It's completely dry. Now, as I said, it's dry because the air inside the glass did not let the water go in. Because as I told you, air takes up space. You can do this experiment at home. All you need is this. All right. So the experiment result is exactly as I told you. Air takes up space. It means that when there is air in a balloon, you cannot put your hand in because there is air in there. It takes up space. Just like, for example, this, it also takes up space. See, when I hit it, I can feel it. Now, when there is air hitting me, I can also feel the air because it takes up space. 
Okay, everyone, that's it for today's class. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you want, you can do the experiment at home and show me. It's okay. It's your choice. All right, guys. Until next time, teacher Jonas out. Bye-bye, everyone. See you. Take care.